Yeah, how many of you have had difficulties or are unclear about how to do a finger sample prick test? Um, this is a guide that comes with every blood sample test kit and it's quite easy really. All you need to do is follow the instructions but today I'm going to help show you uh, what, what's required. So these are the instructions that come with. This is a little kit for actually sticking the finger. There's several lancers in it. You may get one or two of these tubes in which to fill. You will fill all the way with blood, but not too far because you need to be able to shake it when you've done it. Depending on the blood test that you do, uh, this is a comprehensive blood test. There's usually two, at the most three. And um, that's really it. So I want to get started. First thing I do is I place this nice instruction sheet down on the table that I'm working on. This and there are there's a plastic bit, um, or an adhesive bit which you just remove and you put the tubes on it. And it helps keep you organised. Um, but first, you wash your hands. I've, I've already had a shower, wash my hands this morning, or just before I started this video. So um, the next step is to uh, remove and put your blood tubes on it and it's easy for you to collect it that way so you don't get confused so put blood tube blood tubes there okay now you want to identify the best location for your finger so I'm right handed I'm going to use my left hand just because and it's usually the third and fourth finger are are, are the best okay right so now I've got my blood testing kits, my tubes are in place and I'm ready to, my hands are washed and I'm ready to stick my fingers. So, so the best locations, fingers three to four um, to get the most blood and the technique I'll be using is you've got to squeeze out all the blood in that motion like that. And a couple of things you can do to start is get your hands kind of worked up, really get the blood flowing. It's even better if you're standing up. Okay. And make sure you're hydrated in the morning as well. That makes a big difference. Right. The alcohol swab or wipe helps. Um, alcohol helps the blood keep helps the blood to flow. And you want to have have the um, where you make the cut in the meteor, in the meteor part of um, the finger, uh, so that when you squeeze, it's dropping down, not so you're not, not twisting it. So you can just simply squeeze down like that and put in the tubes. So. Fingers wiped, also the packet, got the plaster, so that will help. And I also have my lancet. And this is what is so simple. All you have to do, twist it open. Okay. Identify where you want to hit, like that. And, oh, right, and see if you get a bit of blood there. Then just squeeze your finger and just put it on, just put it in the tube. There we go. Making sure you fill it and really milking the finger. Milk it really. It's even standing up sometimes helps. Just one drop at a time. That's a good one. And just milk it all. It's going pretty quickly. We'll go to the top line. Okay, and then the other one. Get a nice bit of blood. Just make sure you continue to drop it and use the, uh, the lip in order to grab enough blood. 
And this one as well. Okay. So, and then you want to give it a little, little bit of a shake off the, the lids on. If you happen to have some residual blood um, around the cap and you're, and you're shaking, um, just, you can hold it with, with a wipe or what, give it a quick wipe down and then give it another shake. Make sure that again, what you want to check for would be that it's filled to the top line, but you don't want to overfill it. So, on both of these, do that for the other one. So, take the tube, take the label, and just push it on. It's ready to be sent. You can fold it up. Put it in the envelope, and then you seal the envelope. And that's all you need to do, really. And you put this in the post. You want to make sure you put it in the post straight away, um, because the sooner you get it to the lab, the sooner we have your results. So that's how you um, do a sample of blood from a finger prick. Uh, blood test. Uh, I thought it was quite easy. I've done these with other people and this is the first time I've done it for myself and it's um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So let me know how you do with it and we'll talk to you later.